The Lakers eight and three. Kobe comes off his 100th career 40-point game Tuesday night against Detroit, and Hal Gasol is back after missing the first 11 games. The Lakers average 19 points a game off turnovers. They're second in steals, so you better take care of the ball. Solid for three. It's a big shot. One of the things that's hurt Derrick Rose this year for All-Star break is play really went up and so bite him with a lob over the top. Good, good job by Noah. But this is what he's done. He's pushing the ball. He's in great shape. He's one of the best Ooh. offensive rebounders. And he leads the break for Salmons to get an easy basket. He starts going to his bench. Odom is going to have to be that brother. He's going to have to be the guy that really anchors that second unit. Uh, a good start here tonight. And, uh, Phil Hendrick has come on for the first time. It's Heinrich played. Now Fisher right up on him. Salmons. Miller has a good cut. Has been a really positive force in the life of Joe Keno, really teaching him uh, a lot about this game on road trips. They go out and spend a lot of time together. Look at this. 110, 103. Doug, the 15th consecutive loss for the Suns here on on TNT as the right is able to take it to the rim. Fifth rotates to the guard, and you end up with a shot against the buzzer that Joe Kino ends up offensive goaltending. So able to convert the technical off the defensive three second call. So the Lakers are up by three. Four minutes gone by in the second, and Bryant is able to drill it. That's the first late a very important guy. He was used by uh, Phil Jackson to settle things down in terms of uh, being able to swing the basketball. That's a three for John Salmons. Beer of men of a certain age. That's December 7th at 10-9 Central, only on TNT. A moment ago, we made a note off to me that the only team to lose more consecutive games on television, not necessarily on TNT, the Washington Generals. <laughs> I know Phoenix will be very... Sequence, fortunately for Salmon's anger, he was deep on the corner. Yes, and the foul. Salmon, very active tonight. He's building right off of that game he had against Sacramento. Mark, he was a real key last year. He and Brad Miller came over to the All Star break, and the Bulls were really struggling. They finished 18 and 11. Well, the offense really got in gear. Ben Gordon, Heinrich came back from injury. Uh, Derek Rose, rookie of the year. I mean, they were playing well, shooting the three well. And this year, uh, their defense has gotten much better, finding that adjustment at that position. Heinrich defending on Bryant, trying to back him in. Our chest wide open with lots of time. And he knocks down a three. But the zone takes up so much room at all the <laughs> Coming up on three minutes remaining in this first half. Here's Dang. Off the triple, got it away. Shot clock at 10. Good touch there by Derrick Rose. Lakers up by eight. Brian on the high post. Facing the double. Now played by Rose. Here's the lob. Beautifully thrown. And a guy who we trust amazingly out on the floor, a guy who's become his sidekick and one of the best one-two punches in the NBA. Salmons for three, yes. John Salmons heating up. I got to tell you, it was probably the best thing that happened to me. I got away and grew up in Philadelphia, and, and I spent eight wonderful years there. I love Philadelphia. Salmons is the one guy tonight shooting the ball well for the Chicago Bulls. He has 18 points and is keeping them somewhat within... Uh, striking distance of the Lakers. Those do have a foul to give. Bryant showing us that beautiful follow through. And you think of Bill Russell, David Robinson, some of the guys who really were great shot blockers. And so I've always felt, felt a left handed shot blockers had an advantage. Down to nine seconds remaining. If they want to get back in this ball game, they have to have a good period. Beautiful pass from Los Angeles. Here's Bang. And it's swept by Bryant. Fisher. Yes. And he said, we've been inattentive to meeting Lakers standards. We've won simply on talent. And I think you've seen that here, Kobe. Oh. With NBA League Pass broadband, log on now to NBA.com slash LPBB. Watch three games at once. Used his second.
defensively, but they've got to find some ways to score the basketball because you're not going to shut these teams out in the NBA. You've got to find ways to score. Now Bryant gets it inside to Gasol. Fisher able to set it for three. Now they say we showed it earlier in the game how they wall him in, and that jump shot will be there for him. Bryant back in off the spin. Shannon Brown came in with Adam Morrison. And this Shannon Brown is unbelievable in the open court. Nice pass, Bryant to Farmar. Gasol and Powell. Brown and Farmar in the backcourt. Bryant over Johnson. I think he's starting to get to the rhythm now. Playing that little people saying, I got fouled on the last one. James Johnson looking at him, said, I've seen this on television a lot. Kobe Bryant knocking down that jumper. This time it's all four shots. So he's a guy you can bring off the bench. Another big guy for the Lakers. Aaron Craig. Well, Kobe balanced scoring tonight, led by Pau Gasol, 24 points, 13 rebounds. How would you assess his season debut, and how did you have to adjust your game? He gets an A+. You know, he played extremely well. You know, he looked like he was in good rhythm. And uh, in pretty good shape, too. So, yeah, good to have him back. You talked a lot about the schedule, eight of the next nine games here at home. Do you like all these home games at the beginning of the year? Yeah, but you, you can also fall into a trap pretty easy. You know, you get comfortable here at home, and, uh, you know, you find yourself not having the same energy level that you would for a tough road game. So, you know, we have to do a much better job staying focused and locking in and uh, coming with the right energy. Tonight you pass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar the second place behind Jerry West, all-time point by a Laker last Sunday. You joined Will Chamberlain and Michael Jordan with the only guys with 140-point games. What do these milestones mean to you? What's the significance? Well, I mean, you know, it's a great honor, obviously. You know, was, um, I've been very, very fortunate, you know, to have a pretty, uh, uh, you know, uh, career-free, you know, from injury. So, you know, I've been very fortunate in that regard. I played with some great teams, you know, fortunately with four championships, and that's been very blessed. And plenty more milestones to come. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Mark.